Um, dear professors, today I'm going to talk about uh, approximation algorithms. And uh, we already know that we usually want our algorithms can run in polynomial time and for all instances. And also uh, there is exactly one um, exact solution. But um, we also have some problems seeing uh, it's very hard. And so we uh, have to set up a set of four, two out of three at the best to uh, find a solution. So if we relax the third condition uh, to allow have the uh, approximate solutions, uh, then we call such kind of the algorithms the uh, approximation algorithm. And uh, so the definition of the algor uh, approximation algorithm is that we, uh, if an algorithm for an uh, optimization problem has a ratio of rho n, um, for if for every input size of n we have the uh, yeah, this is a definition of the approximation algorithm and uh, mm, we can see there is a c here c is actually the cost of the uh, our produced solution and uh, <coughs> C star is the uh, uh, cost of the optimal uh, solution. And uh, when we are in the minimization problem, optimization problem, uh, we only we also we, we we always take the left term because we would like to minimize the cost as many as possible. So C, but it cannot reach the level of the C star. So uh, it must be greater or equal than one. And uh, obviously, if we have the uh, maximization problem, we will take the right one, and uh, this will be greater than one. And so that means our my row of n uh, at least to be one. And what is the actual meaning of the row of n? This describes um, how much, uh, how long our uh, solution produced the solution will be. Yeah. And uh, today I'm going to use uh, two representative uh, algorithms for each of the uh, optimization problem. And I will use the vertex cover for the minimization problem and uh, the uh, three set for the maximization problem. And uh, let's start by talking about the vertex cover algorithm. The vertex cover uh, is actually we need to find a minimum set uh, that can cover the uh, whole uh, graph. We, uh, we need to have at least one endpoint uh, in the edges of the graph. So uh, we already know it's an NP hard problem. So we have a, a prox, uh, uh, a prox uh, vertex cover. And uh, what it, uh, it's actually very simple for this algorithm. Um, it uh, initializes an empty set C, and uh, we choose uh, the edges randomly from the graph G, and uh, we uh, we add two endpoints of the selected graph into C, and remove all the uh, edges that are instant to the two endpoints. Uh, let me and then we return C, and let me just give an example here. Yeah. And uh, our C could be if we just uh, select the three and uh, we C, D, and then we remove this one and then remove this one, remove all of this. And we still have uh, B and E, yeah. So this is a kind of the uh, solution of our cost. So uh, we also have the case that uh, we have, this is a kind of a worst case. And uh, uh, if this, this uh, C could be, uh, sista could be A, B, C, and, uh, but if we run the approximation, approximate vertex cover, it would be A, it would be, contains all the edges here. So we have our theorem, um, see, approx, uh, 
approximation of vertex cover is actually a two approximation approximate algorithm. How do we prove that? Uh, we let C star to be a vertex cover, and because it's a C, uh, it's a vertex cover, it hits all the edges, and, and we also let A in C uh, in in E. So um, because C star is a vertex cover, so it hits all the edges in 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 the graph. So uh, there is at least one point endpoint in U V in A. Uh, uh, must be in C star. So what? Uh, so we have the uh, equation here. Uh, C star, the size of the C star must be greater than the size of the A, and the size of the A is actually the uh, double of the C. And uh, according to this equation, we can get that C. Is actually two. So uh, we got that approximation vertex cover is actually a two approximation approximate algorithm. And then we uh, start talking about the three set uh, problem. Three set problem is actually, uh, uh, or yeah. And the three sets problem is actually uh, we uh, requires us to find the uh, assignment, a valid assignment that can make the phi equals to one. And uh, but we also know that it's a, a NP hard problem. So well, we have an approximate algorithm which is called a prox. Uh, we have a, a approximation algorithm which is called a max three set algorithm. And uh, it actually uh, requires us to find as much um, possible, uh, as many n clauses correct as possible. So uh, how it uh, uh, runs? Uh, it has a problem instance phi, and uh, it uh, uh, runs the algorithm. It's very simple. It's run by using the random assignment. To assign the values to each assign uh, to each variables here. Uh, this algorithm is only requires us to um, assign the values uh, for a variable x i um, to be zero or one by flipping coin for each variable of phi. So um, we let c i. Is x one uh, or x two or x three, and uh, phi is uh, c one to c ten. Yeah, and uh, we can from the algorithm we can know that every. Uh, variable is chosen independently and uh, because three sets uh, each clause uh, is correct should be three one of three is correct and uh, that means if we would like to see i clause i is not correct we should um, both all of these three things should be forced that means the probability of ci is not satisfied Should be uh, probability of uh, x one uh, equals zero. Both of them are not correct. So uh, and we already know this is uh, two uh, one over uh, one over two. The probability equals to one over two. So the clause i is not a correct. Uh, the probability of that is uh, one over x. That means the clause i is correct, the probability is 
one, five, seven over eight. Yeah. And uh, mm, we also want to uh, we define x to be the number of the uh, number of the satisfied clauses. So it will be i equals one to n, and uh, we have uh, c i. Uh, yes. Uh, satisfied clauses. Uh huh. Wow. Yes. Satisfied clauses. It's an indicator variable. And. Uh, mm, because we're using the uh, expect, uh, random a randomized algorithm, so we care more about the expectation value. So um, this or, uh, this uh, could be we, we, we pay more attention to about the expected of the x. So um, this will be. One to n and uh, ci, and uh, this will be i plus one to n expected ci. So ci is uh, uh, is a satisfied clause, and we already calculate the ci is is uh, satisfied clause should be say uh, this probability. So uh, we get. The C equals eight seven or oh, oh, seven over eight n, and uh, we can know that the approximation ratio is uh, C star because it's a maximization problem. So we use this term. C star the be uh, the best uh, case is that or the closest is correct, and uh, C is actually here we got. Our approximation is seven over eight, so we got that uh, three set is actually uh, approximation ratio is seven uh, eight over seven, and uh, that means the max three set is an eight over seven approximate algorithms, and uh, that's all.